So. Sister asked the question, one of her friends told her that first read the Old Testament, then read the Quran. Sister, it's not the must. If there is something like the Old Testament and the New Testament, then there's something like the Last Testament, the Quran. So when the Christians say Old and New Testament, this is the last and final testament of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, I'm asking you the question. Suppose you have different versions and editions of a book. For example, you have gone to a medical college, you know, Professor Keith Moore wrote some books. And his book had first edition, second edition, third edition. So would you read the first edition or the latest edition? Of course, I'll go for the latest. Latest, correct. Yes, if you really love the first edition, you know, I'm a fan of the first edition, then I said, no problem, read the first edition, then read the last edition. So if you're so much hooked on to the Old Testament, and you know your Old Testament is close to your heart, then the Quran says in Sulaim Imran chapter 3 verse 64, Ta'ala wila kalimatin sawaim bayna baynakum. Come to common terms as been us in you. Then I would say that if you're so much hooked on to the Old Testament, no problem, read the Old Testament, then read the Quran, at least agree what is common. And when we read the Old Testament, New Testament and the Quran, we come to know that the thing that is common in these scriptures is that there's one God and he deserves to be worshipped. He has got no image. He is not begotten. It further says that Jesus Christ people is not God. And both these scriptures say that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. <laughs>